Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be trying out a new conceal, I mean a new foundation and I am going to show you how I conceal my dark circles. And as you can see I have on no makeup and I have huge dark circles and wrinkles that I didn't want to show you but I'm showing you now. Um, okay so let's get started. I'm going to pull my hair back because it'll be in the way. Okay, the new foundation that we are trying is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage. Now, I couldn't get, couldn't get the right color for me because it's, for one thing, it's a drugstore one and you can never get, you can't, you know, there's no testers, so you don't know. But anyways, I got number 305 and it is not quite the right color, so I will be mixing it and I'm going to be mixing it with this, I got a sample of this Chanel. I have to put my glasses on to read what she wrote on here. Vita Lumiere, number 30. Anyways, we're going to mix just a little bit of this in with our Infallible. And I am using, this is what I use for a palette. It's a piece of granite. This is what we did our bathroom with when we built this house. And I was going to buy the glass palette that Tati said, you know, she uses. But when I went there, I followed her link and I went to it and it was out of stock. So then I had to try and figure something out and I'm actually glad it was out of stock because then I thought about this granite that I have tons of in the garage and it's perfect. So anyways, I'm going to mix this up. Okay, I'm gonna push up my sleeves. I hope this works out. And we are going to mix this up. I am using my little granite palette and I'm putting some of that and just a little bit of this stuff because the color was not quite right. And then I have this little thing, you can buy these at the hobby store, it's for mixing like, acry uh, not acrylic paints, but like oil paints for like real painters. But it works really good. Mixes it right up. I don't like mixing with my sponge because then it seems like my sponge absorbs a lot of it. So anyways, that's done. And then I'm going to apply it with my Artiste dupe brush. This is the second to the largest in my set of 10 that I did a video on. So Anyways, I like this. I don't like using it, my sponge because my sponge, I think my sponge absorbs too much of it. So, I think last time I put it on with my finger first. But I put this on yesterday and I really liked it. Of course, the one thing with mixing, you never know if you're going to mix it the same way twice, right? But it's supposed to be total coverage. It showed on the picture this stuff was supposed to like cover tattoos. It's not that much coverage. But it's good. I just hope I have a nap. Because it doesn't look like I do. One thing about this. You got to put it on kind of fast. Because it sets up. And once it sets up. You're done. It's not going to move. Make sure you get it everywhere you want it. But for drugstore makeup, actually, for any makeup, I really like it. Because I really hadn't found a foundation that I loved. And I'm kind of loving this. Hope I didn't get any on this sweater. Okay, now I'm going to take my beauty blender. And just kind of smooth it out because the beauty blender is the bomb and I don't want to suck up too much of it so what do you think pretty good coverage right especially for a drugstore well it does have a little bit of Chanel but mostly the Chanel is just for coverage and it gives it a little um, it gives you a little more time to spread it around Okay, and now, in order to conceal, 
my under eye circles. What we want to do is I'm using my RCMA palette, but you can use any color corrector or I don't have a color corrector. And when I went online to find them, they were out of stock. They were too expensive. And I have this RCMA palette and I never use all the colors. So I am just going to use this fourth one, fourth one from the top. It's kind of orangey and that's what I want. I want a red color to take out the purple. So that's what I'm going to do. And I've had this for a while and it's super cold here. So it's kind of hard to get off. Anyways, then I'm just going to take this redness and or orangeness and I'm going to put it on this little purple part right here and then I'm going to put it underneath right here on this part and you don't need much because you're going to cover it with more concealer the light concealer but you just have to correct the purpleness first so I'm going to go in here first now it looks like my circle goes all the way across, but this is actually not a dark circle out here. This is just the curvature of the bag because I have big bags under my eyes. And I don't need to go, I don't need to color correct there. I just need to, <laughs> I just need to have surgery and have that pulled up. See, look, pull that up. Boom. It's all gone. And it doesn't even have to, you don't have to do much. I wish I could afford to have surgery. Not yet, but I hope to. Okay, that's about it. It's pretty orange. See? And then I'm going to use my beauty blender and just kind of take the lines out a little bit because you don't want to take any of it off or you will lose your color correction. That infallible, wherever it went, this. In the, the display of this, they have three, um, they're like beauty blenders. I don't know what they're called because I didn't buy any. They have one that is blue that is about that bit, about half the size of this and it's not too small, not like those little tiny ones. I've got one of those little tiny beauty blenders. Completely useless. With these fingernails, I cannot even hold on to it and get it to do anything. But anyways, this other one is like half the size of a regular size beauty blender and it's, it's egg shaped except it's got one flat side and it would be just perfect for doing this, I think. It's not a beauty blender so it may not be any good at all because some of them you know, they're not the same material and they just haven't perfected it yet. Anyways, that's about it for that. And then after we've done that, we go back in. I always get my powder ready because with my wrinkles and stuff, I want to be ready to bake it as soon as I get it on there. What's the deal? Am I running out? Could happen. No. Anyways, I have that all ready to go, and then we're going in with our age, uh, Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. It's Neutralizer. I know that the other one's pale and light pale and beige and like that, and this one's called Neutralizer. Get it up there, and then you're basically going to go everywhere you just went, and then some. You're going to cover this orange stuff you just put on, and then I, of course, cover the whole lid because it's all veiny and purpley and dark and I don't want it dark even though I'm going to put shadow and stuff over it I want it bright and then down here I put it over the orange and then I go underneath this bag I don't want to I don't want the bag to be lightened because then it'll look it'll bring it forward I want under it where that line is that looks like it's all part of my dark circle but it's not and then I bring it all the way out and then I bring it down into a triangle it's kind of a triangle and then I go under my nose because I always have red under my nose go there 
And then we do the same thing on this side. And we put some on our chin. This is my whole highlighting contour thing over here, over here, down the nose, a little star going here. that down. Oops. Then we take the beauty blender and we quickly like that. Okay. And as soon as you get that all blended like you want it, you take your powder and the first thing you want to do is pull it to where there's no wrinkles. Not too tight, but just you want to get all this powder inside those wrinkles. So I do it with the brush first and then I go back and get even more with the blender and really pack some powder on there. I just, but I definitely have to set it all. But I definitely bake under my eyes. Just let that sit there for like five or 10 minutes. And that's it, that's how I seal, that's how I conceal my under eye bags and dark circles. So I will let this sit for five minutes and then I'll go do my eyes and I'll come back and we'll chat. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really, really like this. Um, I like my concealer and I love my foundation. I don't know where it is, but it is the L'Oreal 24 hour full coverage it's the new one. Um, it's infallible. And I hope you enjoyed it too. They do have more colors. You probably can get a color match. Um, I was very limited. I got mine at Walmart. And it was pretty picked over when I got it. And if you like this eye look, I have another video up on how to conceal your saggy baggy eyes with eye makeup. So if you want to see how I do that, watch that video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe because I can use subscribers and don't miss the next video. Love you. Bye.